Hey everybody, it's Mike with the 1974 GMC. Uh, just going to give you a little update on the progress. I did go on vacation for a week and so not a lot happened. Uh, kind of got back to it yesterday and uh, what I did is put the bumper on. I didn't really do anything with it. I'm either going to replace them or or maybe uh, blast them and paint them or something at some point. So they're one of the parts coaches that I was uh, that I have access to I think has some pretty decent bumpers on it so I may go get those. But uh, so I spent way more time putting this back on than I wanted. Actually, I should tell you, first of all, I did get that uh, bolt freed up out of that bushing. I got all the parts made and uh, all the parts cleaned up and uh, sandblasted and painted. And then I uh, made some spacers basically to uh, a lot for the uh, for the rubber pads that are uh, holding the frame up. So um, kind of got that going. I put, put those all back in, tightened everything back up. That worked well. Um, I, the previous owner made a kind of a container here for the boo-boo tube. And I had to do a little bit of work on that. The one end cap was falling off. So I got that done. And then uh, I did, probably what took most of the time was, I did wire up the trailer plug. And so there's a seven-way there with a four-way on the side of it. And this this little wire right here, is uh, something so my plan is for my tow vehicle to use an air cylinder to actuate the brake pedal and my concern was is that uh, that sticks on and I'm dragging the car with the, the brakes on so what I was as the car that I have with the key off everything else if you step on the brake the brake lights still come on so my plan is to wire this uh, terminal to the brake lights so that if the brake lights stick on, I'll have a light on my dash that says the brake lights are stuck on. So that's a, a little forward planning and a little uh, way out for what I need. But uh, basically, if you come in here, I did put the cap up and it is just primed. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. It'll come back out if I need it to. Um, but uh, at any rate, uh, so coming in here, I had, when I did uh, the wiring in the back, I had uh, wired in a four-prong trailer plug. So basically, if something goes wrong with the exterior harness, I can cut it out, and without cutting back into the harness, I can tie into that. This wire here goes all the way up under the dash, and it is for the... Uh, passenger side rear speaker or it was for the passenger side rear speaker I, I ran new wire because these uh, this vehicle used the chassis ground which most uh, new style stereos don't like so that the other wire which was the speaker wire from this side that goes up under the dash is wired into that white wire that's out there so uh, I've got that uh, that all set to go and then these two here that are coiled up one would be for the electric brakes for an electric brake trailer and the other one is uh, the just the positive the, the 12 volts to the plug that would run like if you have a trailer with lights inside of it or something like that so those aren't hooked up yet but at some point they will be the other thing that you might notice is that I have these are two aluminum channels I'm stand up here one on each side that's at the height of the bed that's where that's going to be uh, riveted in and then, like I said there's one on each side so the next thing is is to cut a sheet of plywood that's the right width and I'm going to slide it back and then I'm going to notch it to fit around all these ribs and then I'll, I'll put little pieces of angle iron screw little pieces of angle iron through there to support that across the back not that that will be the full support because you know there's going to be a box uh, between the beds that'll support the inside and and, and what have you so um, we'll get hopefully get going on that real soon I got to get some wiring done and a couple other things before I do that the one thing is I seen a guy on uh, one of the GMC websites that was making LED taillights and I think I've decided that I want to get LED taillights, even though I went to all the work to rewire all this stuff back here. And the main reason is I want this space. Basically, if you follow 
this straight across. These are kind of in the way. It'll give me a little more room for the bed, if you will. Uh, so for right now, they're going to stay, and I'll either just have to notch around them or, or whatever. But uh, that's kind of where I am with those. I guess the other thing is, is my goal has been to get this coach back on the ground. And so to that end, I did get my uh, rear brake cylinder, and I was able to put the... Uh, I really just needed to boot off of it, put the boot on the wheel cylinder that was there, got that all back together. Um, I am waiting on some grease zerks. Um, for whatever reason, the grease zerks here for the pins, um, one of them, I just, even this, this one's kind of barely tightened in. Even if I take this one out and bring it over there, it won't tighten in. So I, I bought some that are longer. They're kind of extended. So that should take care of that problem. Oh, I guess one more thing I did just to, I trapped that airline with a with a screw and a clamp just to keep it tight and out of the way of the suspension. And then today I finished putting my wheel wells in or my my interior fender wells. I wanted to get those in even though this one's going to have to come back out to do the to do the um air conditioning to charge the air conditioning. I just wanted to get everything fit in so that uh, I do need the wheel wells. I don't need the air conditioning to go on this first trip. So I have that kind of done. I got both of them done. So the last thing I got to do, I guess, on, on that is I'm going to grease the front end. And then uh, this, is, uh, this wheel had the uh, CV shaft go in it. Uh, just had grease all over it, so I'm going to clean up these two front wheels. I, I cleaned up all all four of the backs, but I hadn't had a chance to. These were still on the coach when I did it, so I got to clean those up. So we're getting closer every day, a little bit closer. So I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, should be some more regular videos coming.